Hi, I'm Catherine, and like all of my colleagues at Maxi Zoo, I am trained in pet care and nutrition. We have made these videos to help you get the most from our products. Today, I'm going to discuss the benefits of crate training. At Maxi Zoo, we believe that crate training is a kind and humane way to train your dog. Some of the benefits for you when you crate train are first and foremost that house training becomes a lot easier. When your dog is used to its crate and feels comfortable in there, she will think that it is a wonderful place to be. And as such, he or she will not want to soil it. This means that they are far less likely to go to the toilet when confined in the crate than if you had them running loose around the house, which means that you can put them in after meals or if you're going away for a short period and then give them an appropriate toilet break afterwards. Another benefit of having a crate like this is peace of mind. When you are away or when you are in bed, you can be comfortable in knowing that your dog or puppy is not running rampage around your house chewing lots of things. My assistant today is Bua, and Bua is an 11 week old puppy. This is his first time being in a crate and he's going to help me make an important point. Bua is whimpering. Sometimes new puppies will whimper when they're in a crate or even adult dogs will because they're unsure in the beginning. It is important not to reinforce this behavior by praise or eye contact or treating, but instead to wait for the dog to become quiet before you reward them. At this moment, Boo is quiet, so it is a good time to give him a treat. Good boy. Another benefit for you when you have a crate is that you have a safe area for your dog should you have nervous visitors or have boisterous people around or activity in the house that is worrying or frightening your dog. It means that you can put them safely away and do not have to worry. Crates are also ideal for travel. Crates are secure and they are easy to move. They are collapsible, which means that you can bring them with you and then put them away when they are not in use. They are also in most sizes suitable for fitting in any size car. Don't think that it's one-sided. Crate training has a lot of benefits for your pet too. The first being that they avoid the fear and confusion that can sometimes come with traditional house training methods, such as when you come home and the old way of rubbing your dog's nose in their pee. This doesn't teach your pup anything, but instead it may frighten them and make them hide their toilets so that you don't notice, rather than stopping them from doing them. A crate will also offer your dog privacy and security. It will give them a place to feel secure. Good boy, Bua. It means they have a comfortable bed somewhere where they can retire when they feel threatened or even when they just want to rest around the home. Crates also spare your dog the loneliness of having to be confined away from the family, such as in another room with a solid door closed or on a different floor of the house altogether. It's important to remember what a crate is not. A crate should never be used as punishment. A crate should never be used to isolate your dog. It's important that where you put the crate needs to be a room that is frequented by people often, otherwise your dog will feel lonely in there. Also, it's important not to rush crate training. Bua is quite comfortable, even though he's whining a little bit today, but he's quite happy in there. If your dog is very panicked or frightened, it's best to take them out and gradually reintroduce them with the use of lots of tasty treats or other food rewards. Choosing a crate is important. You need to have the correct size. Your dog should be able to go in and turn around with ease. There should be enough room for him or her to lie down comfortably. Have a suitable bedding in your crate. Although they do have removable trays for easy cleaning, it's best to have an absorbent bed just in case there are any rare accidents. Also make sure it's comfortable for your dog so that he or she does see the crate as home. It's also a good idea to give your dog some toys or treats so that they don't get bored if they're in their crate for any long length of time. A good toy would be the Kong. The Kong has been around for many years and it's a favorite with dog owners all over the world. The Kong can be filled with food or treats to keep your dog interested. Good boy, Pua. Remember, don't treat him while he's whining. As I said, the Kong is a great option, but it's not the only one. You could also use a rawhide or suitable chew for your dog. Perhaps not a rawhide for a very young puppy, but there are other puppy safe chews out there. 
These are a tasty treat, which is what I'm giving Bua today when he's quiet. If you need to, you can leave a trail of them into the crate to make your dog feel that he or she is choosing to go in there for the first time. They're also important for rewarding quiet times in the crate. If you have a nervous dog or one who is prone to stress, I recommend trying a product like the Adaptil range. Adaptil mimics the natural pheromones of dogs to give your dog a secure and comforting sensation. These are available in all Maxi Zoo stores, as are our other products. I'm Catherine, and this is Bua, and today we've told you about the benefits of crate training. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.